Hello guys, yeah, we're back here for another week of oh, Sage's Football. What do we to say? I don't know. It's it's so heavy, like. 740. Oh, 740. Yeah, this is actually a good moment. So, for anyone that might not be in the know, Ramadan has started. There you go. And Adnan is breaking his fast. What time do you break fast today? 740. What time's kickoff? 745. Look at that. That's, that's a true pass. We do have another member of the team that's fasting, but he's not here yet. Our goalkeeper, Mehmet, is not here. Some of the boys over there. You've obviously been fasting and playing football pretty much all your life. Mm -hmm. Like, what's like your keys to, not success, but you know what I mean? Like, how do you do it, basically? I say, if you guys suffer with hay fever, because usually around that time, take like five tablets. If you overdose, you overdose. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to die. Um, you know, make sure you pray. Uh, that helps a lot, because it makes you feel like you're doing it for something. And, um, you know what I mean? Just keep yourself distracted. Keep yourself occupied. That's what, that's what I like to do. And what's your um, food of choice to break fruit. fast? A fruit. <laughs> a fruit. He's got the whole shebang in his bag. You can't really see. Right, don't, don't let them see my entire bag. Nah, don't worry, don't worry. I tried to keep the fruit as much as possible. It's like milk. <laughs> How many do you think you'll mash? Let's let's uh, let's let him break fast in peace. Come on. How are you, my friend? Uh, you got some good lighting on you, bro. Oh, so it's the lighting effect, isn't it? It's tired, it's tired. I'm always tired. I'm too busy, man. Too busy. But we're going to win today, of course. <laughs> What's going on people? Welcome back to the Seasons Football Channel. More specifically, Seasons FC Game Week 3 up against familiar foes Eiffel 65. We had, or we thought we had, recorded the gaffer giving out the starting five, but that footage wasn't found on the memory card, so I'll do that now for you guys. In goal, we have Mehmet, Leandro as the first line of defence, wide players compromised of Pinto, and current top goal scorer Salim, and finally we have Jesus leading the line for the home side. Yeah, this the one. Sloppy start to the first half from the home side, not really getting it going, some lazy passes, and as a result, Eiffel 65 go 1-0 up. Once again, lazy defending as the Eiffel man gets by two and has a shot, and the resulting rebound is tucked away by the 65er. A bit more of intent shown by the season's boys with the ball being rotated quicker and more effectively, Jesus finds an opening but his shot just goes wide. Jesus' initial effort blocked, Leandro's wide, Eiffel looked to create something, no initial step up from the boys, the 65er gets by Leandro and plays a through ball to his lone teammate but his effort is off target. Pino intercepting the pass, progresses with the ball out wide, takes it past his man, plays it across the box and into the path of Leandro who fixes his feet and slots it home. Brilliant footwork from Salim, keeping the ball from two opposition players as well as the referee, ball still in our possession but Eiffel with a very deep line, forcing shots from range. Pinto's pass intercepted in a dangerous area and a cool finish from the 65er through Mehmet's legs. Season's boys really struggling to get it going. However, Salim once again with an amazing showing of footwork beats both defenders but his shot only manages to find the side net. Jesus and Salim combining for the 1-2, a firm pass across the box from Salim finds Pinto but his touch inside the area meaning Jesus' strike is disallowed. Oh. 
Jesus creating space for his shot, but the angle tight, rebound slips from Pinto's grasp, the 65er brings it down the field before unleashing an effort that finds Mehmet's bottom corner. Salim finding Leander in the pocket, Alex makes a good run from one flank to the other, receiving Leander's pass as a result, his initial effort saved, play comes back down towards Mehmet's goal, seasons restart, Alex with some space, strikes, but keeper gets down low. Leandro, a 1-2 with Adnan, shoots, but another attempt saved. Yet another missed opportunity from Seasons. Alex with a lovely work to set up Salim, but another shot saved from the Eiffel keeper. Seasons on top, but not capitalising, Eiffel continuing to apply that deep line, forcing Seasons to find the pockets, an intricate passing exchange, but it's the finishing that's lacking at the moment. Poor pass, back from the 65er, picked up by Alex, waits for Leandro's run, Leandro looks up, sees Salim on the opposite side and sweats it across the box for the easy tapping. Good stops at either end, keeping the scoreline the same. Alex, much like Salim, demonstrating some lovely footwork, both involved in the play as Salim lashes one straight down the middle and in past the Eiffel goalkeeper. Predominantly left footed, but don't sleep on the right, a lovely curling effort into the bottom bins from the hot footed Salim. Luck not really on our side as the loose ball finds the lone 65er up front who takes one touch to control the ball and another to put it past Mehmet. Touch. Sloppy defending from the free kick as the Eiffel player toe blows it straight past the limb and Mehmet to set the first half scoreline at 6 4 to Eiffel 65. Save. One more chance for Seasons to bring it within one, but a well worked free kick only goes as far as being saved as the referee blows for time. So, off, off the pool, Second half underway with what feels like a mountain to climb and in the meantime Terrell asserts his presence with a foul in the opening minute. Terrell evolved early on, whether it's defending or attacking, his shot blocked, Leandro with a second chance but much like the first half, keeper remains on top. Poor interchange from the 65ers sees the ball end up with Jesus in a privileged position but a slow reaction allows the defender to catch up, Jesus with a second opportunity off the rebound and doesn't make no mistake this time around. Just as the boys get within one, a slick 1-2 from Eiffel 65 beats the press and sets up their 7th goal of the game.
seasons down but not in panic mode yet waiting for the right pass and Leandro does just that with a pass that cuts straight through the middle into Terrell but the poor finishing continues. Terrell losing out on the first occasion but wins it on the second, Leandro waiting for it on the left flank, sets it back to Terrell who converts it with a side footed finish. Not having learnt from the earlier free kick, Eiffel hit the post from the kickoff. Great stop from Mehmet. Poor awareness, Eiffel blindside to roll and slot it past Mehmet. Eiffel moving the ball around, all elements of the team having a touch of the ball, some great passing and movement on show, bamboozling the season's defence and resulting in a lovely team goal. Tries for overhead height from Eiffel, but the ref waves the play on, apologies about the angle, but not really able to see the call, and up the other end, the Eiffel 65 goalkeeper touched the ball outside of the area, resulting in a penalty, which Pino confidently steps up and converts. Leandro does well to win the ball in the corner, looks up, has his pass to Alex intercepted and ultimately results in a goal for the opposition. Another opportunity straight at the keeper. Very similar to Salim's goal in the first half, but this time he assists Pinho for a lovely curling effort into the bottom corner. Horrible defending as I can score from kickoff. Terrible moment in the game for Alex and Seasons as the Eiffel man falls on top of his ankle and from the screen we knew it was serious straight away. The referee understood the severity of the injury with what looked to be Alex's last involvement in the game. But the game must go on, Leander wins the ball midfield, reverse pass into Salim who finds Adnan, does well to lose the defender but his effort is right at the goalkeeper. Lack of finishing costs and seasons the game. With the amount of shots we've had, we should have had a lot more goals on the board. Leandro, 1 2 with Adnan, tight angle for the shot, but Leandro forces the save. Ball still in his possession, gets out of the corner and forces the own goal. Season struggling on the defensive end, and the scoreline shows that. And for the first time this season, we can see them the double digits with what looks to be our first loss. Jesus does really well to win possession right in front of goal, but the poor finishing continues. Last few moments of the game, dire defensive effort along with a lack of finishing throughout sees the boys pick up the first loss of the campaign as Terrell closes off the game with a Perezma S Travella. I want to thank everyone supporting and watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week for another game week where we look to add another trophy into our ever-expanding cabinet. I don't know his name. <laughs> young boy. Yes, well played. Um, not young boy. Um, young boy. <laughs> With the Achilles. That's not his Achilles. I don't know. Innit, let's listen and take it for the next game. And I only God knows who we're playing next, innit? But no matter who you're playing, even if you play the shittest team, the way you look play today, bro, you're gonna lose. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be so real. Like I, that for me. Say, say, since coming back, we played what five games. That was probably the worst performance we've had by a country mile. I don't care what anyone says, bro. Losing the game on defensive foot. Just save sometimes. Even on there, just come home.
And, and then it's also simple because that set pieces, set pieces. Why can't they just get managed and then someone stands on top of the ball? Then they can't score, they can't go anywhere. Boys, well, that's the basics of five sides. The only option is to go back to the goalkeeper, just force them back. Once again, slow start, you don't have to fix that ASAP. Number two was sharpness, just like overall, like technically more astute, you know what I mean? Like, if, if, if you want to receive that, like I said, hard ball into the middle, you have to have a good touch. If not, don't bother, don't go into that space expecting it. If you know, you know what, I'm not, like, I can't control the ball in that gap, let someone else do that gap. I'm going to be real, you understand? Because if, if, if the ball's going to keep going in there, you're going to lose it, there's no point. We brought her off just to always pass it to the goalkeeper and start again. They played two backs in two minutes, but they played tight. They were tight and they had no subs and they were alternating goalkeepers, but yet we couldn't score, yet we couldn't beat them. I know it sounds crazy and I know it's the basics, but that's what we didn't do, it's the basics. Like, three kicks, on top of it. I don't care. The more priority is the football, yeah? Fair enough, we have to pick up our man. But if we pick up our men and we leave the ball open, what happens? It's open shot. And that counts for kickoffs as well. Does anyone know what the final score was? Anyone? 12-10. Had you not finished, you made some good saves, and maybe they would have scored more if you wanted to make them saves, didn't it? Had you not finished, a lot of the chances where you lot shot directly at the keeper, playing how shit you lot played, you lot would have won that game. Like, they're not shit, we've played them before, we have lost against them before, but our track record's better than theirs. Like, every time we play them, we beat them, innit? Oh, shit. That's it. That's it.